Hi there, this is Christy Marie Gott. Today we're going to take a tour of the front of this website in order to show examples of some common website terms. As you can see, the domain is up here in the URL Universal Resource Locator box. And here we have the custom header that's been added. This is a WordPress.org website and blog. As you can see, it has a series of articles with dates and I can scroll down and there's a continuing series of articles. That means that a new, when a new article is added, the website updates. And this is different from what's called a static website. A static website is one where you do not regularly add new articles, so it stays the same, or static. Now this is called the blog portion, and over on this side we have a sidebar. And across the top we have a couple of pages. You can click on About, Contact, or How to Use This Site. I'll scroll down a little and you can see on the sidebar I've ordered, I've added a video, some stats from HostGator showing the numbers of visits per month. Here are a couple of video tutorials and you only need to click and then you can start watching it right there in the sidebar. I'll go ahead and pause that. This categories box has an arrow. When you click on that you'll see the categories for all the articles on this website and blog. If you choose the subject about which you wish to read, then all the articles about that particular subject will pop up. Let's go ahead and look at Backgrounds for Twitter. Okay, how to add a photo background to your Twitter profile page. The first paragraph shows up as an excerpt and then you can just click continue reading. And when you want to go back to the home page, you click over here there you are. Another way to find relevant subject matter is to look at this area which is a keyword cloud. Keywords are words that indicate the subject in the articles and you can look at this a little bit like a table of contents. I could click on videography and all the articles related to videography show up. Now I'll click on Home and go back. And as you can see, some of these words are large and that means there are more articles about that subject. It said, when I put my mouse over videography, it says 16 topics. And when I put it over, oh, background images, it says one topic. Now as we scroll down, you'll also see a list of recent posts. You can click on one of these as it highlights when you drag your cursor over it. And a short list of useful links. You can click here to go to my YouTube channel and so on where it says follow us that means if you click here you'll go to my Facebook page and you can click if you want to sign up to be a friend. This will go to my Twitter and this will take you to my YouTube channel. The archives are where the articles are grouped according to the month and year when they were written. This website started in May of 2010, and if I click there, it'll show all the articles from that 
month, and year. Under Meta, you can click here to syndicate this site using what's called a an RSS feed and that means all of the blog posts or articles will be automatically fed to a feed such as a feed burner feed or a Google uh, feed reader uh, so that you can just go there and read them. There's also a comments feed and of course if you want to save your place for your favorite websites just go up to bookmarks click on bookmarks and I already have this site bookmarked but you would so I don't get the uh, ad bookmark but you would get an ad bookmark well this concludes my tour of the highlights of the what's called the front end of the website thank you for visiting with us today and happy computing